Hello everyone, hello. This is one of those days where we upcycle, recycle everything and anything that you have in your house and you actually think that it's of no use. If you engage your creative self just a little bit, you'll be amazed at what you can do. And here we go, join me as we do this. I'll show you a few of the things that I've used right here in the studio but after this we shall take a walk into the garden and you can see the real application of the items that I'm talking about so shall we start with grandma's cup you can make a good use of them they can be plant containers just make sure you drill a hole yeah then uh, we have uh, a cup dispensable disposable cup normally they use them in the in the parties but uh, who is koi I retrieve all this and I use them as planters so you have lots of planters in the in the studio this that's a juice holder and normally I would I cut it into two and uh, depending on the length that I need and I also use it as a as a planter. Mark you guys, you need to know what plant that you're you, you're you're going to put in the planters. So the bigger plants, make sure you have bigger planters. Smaller plants with small roots, then make use of this. Smaller ones. This. <laughs> That's a yogurt container. <laughs> Clearly, I definitely consume a lot of yogurt and that is why I have so many of them. And again, can be used as a, as a planter or if need be, it can scoop stuff in the studio. Okay. This, <laughs> shallow as it is, I use it to plant uh, things like succulents. Because the succulents are really, they're smaller in size, the leaves, um, the bean jellies, they're smaller. So you just fill it up with soil and place them on top. Magic, isn't it? Wax as well as a planter. Anything that is shallow, shallow rooted can go here. Again, amazingly enough, since I use the biodegradable material as a holders, for as, as 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 planters right so normally I fold it into two depending on the size of uh, either the cuttings or the plants that I am to put in okay and I fill it up with soil right so when I do this this fabric is porous it, it loses water very fast so it's good for plants that don't need a lot of water it's also good for plants that need um that, that don't do well with waterlogged soil so it drains very fast the easiest the best thing to do is to place it in this container fill it up with water and allow the fabric to soak in and the soil the compost to soak in water because the compost when it soaks water it puffs up a little bit so this is perfect perfect for this job do you have any in your house <laughs> if they're that very kindly you can email them to me <laughs> send me a few hola hola i need lots of this Please don't laugh at me. I have, this is the uh, bucket lid and I, I am currently using it to grow the succulents. Mostly the Havothias are here in, in such a container. Just fill it up with soil and poke them in and keep watering, keep watering. Sparingly at some point, depending on the weather, so if you're in June, July, then you don't water a lot because then the soil is too soggy. Okay. 
this is the um what was this i'm trying to remember it's a laundry basket a lead the lead for the laundry basket and so far i'm using it to hold a lot of uh, pots and just to create some decor finish but i am sure there's a lot more that i can do with this just having in mind that it has holes all over i feel like i can use it as a as a planter if i'm to mount it on a wall okay fill it up with soil or moss and then i can use these holes just to plant whatever it is that i need but that's a project for another day we shall see it as it comes here we have my usual big containers which i cut into two and they become planters for the big plants okay lovely huh. <laughs> this, this here uh, gosh, I have no words. Look at this. Yeah. Check, guys, please. <laughs> These are all the cables that I've picked from the house. Okay. Uh, usually, I'm using them as strings to hang uh, my planters. There are all sorts of cables that are required here. And I hope one day I'm thinking I can make one of these beds, the, 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 something similar to what I have. I can just shona, just thread it, and so that I can place all my my planters on. But that's a, another project. This is an old sephoria, which uh, clearly had no use. It had it got holes or could not hold water anymore but I have found a place for it. I use it as a planter as well. And with the time, I, I can even paint it. That's a beauty of this, yeah? Next, we have our It's a mop ringer. Yeah, so you put your mop and you ring, ring it and then water comes out so these are spare ones or broken ones clearly and we use it to you put either put a fabric or something that will stop or hold the water and you I plant the whatever it is inside there ladies something from us also these are your stockings uh they're very useful when it comes to covering the containers all the things that i've showed you here if you just don't want to see the the outside of it you can always cloth cloth it with the with the stockings they're amazing they good they do such a fantastic job um and i think that's it that's it for now I have lots though and uh, yeah that's it that's it we see you see ya this is an old Jiko yeah as you can see this was the entry for lighting and we put the charcoal in here so I put my periwinkle inside here and it's doing very well mm. this is an old tire and the geranium has found an excellent spot for itself it just, uh, it looks very, very happy. <laughs> and those are some of the ideas of how you can upcycle and recycle some of the containers that you have at home. This is a journey and we said we'll take it together. So there will be a lot more coming up. Shall we see you next time? Next time? <laughs> see you.